Right, hey, Taliede Champs. Today we're going to have a look at this ThinkVision M14T portable monitor. Now I have reviewed a few portable monitors before, but this thing is no ordinary portable monitor because this portable monitor supports unique features like touch, Windows Ink, pen support, it has USB-C, USB-C power pass-through, and you can use the USB-C to actually output to the display, and it can be used for a second monitor for mobile devices. Yes, your phone, PCs, Macs, laptops, especially great for laptops, I would say. So let's crack on and have a look at it. So it comes in this black box. You can see here they're using it with pen support, so great for signature, signing documents and stuff like that. Coding, you can use it anyway. Portrait or landscape on the back here, not much to see. Let's open her up. Okay, so we have the monitor here itself. This is the display. Here you can see the display. Turn it around there. We'll have a closer look in a sec. Now, as you can see here, this thing opens up. And this is why I like it a lot better than any other sort of portable monitor that have these sort of, you know, covers that you have to put on the back and you have to faff about with them. This thing here can stand up like that. Stand up like that. It is awesome. We get a nice felt cover. Very nice, signed with Think Vision there. But then we get another box here. That looks like about it. No, we get a pen. I tell a lie, there's the pen. So 4,096 pressure points here, supports Windows in. This is what takes this monitor to the next level. And in this box, we have a USB-C cable. And then we have this right angled sort of adapter here. So you can get, you know, better management of your cables there. So that's everything in the box. Now let's do a bit of a tour. And as you can see, the base of this unit, it does have a height adjustment. So I can have that up like that, higher if I want, or I can put this flap down and I can have it like that. The angle I can get it on, you can see here, I can go right down, right up like that. Of course, you can have it in portrait. So whichever way you want it there, I really do like having this sort of stand here integrated. It's really good. So on the right side of the unit, you do have power, Kensington lock there, and a USB Type-C with DisplayPort out there. And looking at that, it does support power as well. So it does have power pass-through. On the left-hand side, another USB-C that supports DisplayPort out and power, display brightness buttons. And that button there, it's not a power button. I do believe that's a multitasking or a sort of like a function button there. So or for the menu or whatever. So let's connect her up to something. Okay, so first we'll attach it to a phone and then we'll see how it goes on laptops and even a desktop if we can do that. This here is an Android phone. It won't be enough to power this display, okay? It does have USB-C pass-throughs, so you can pass through the power into this, into your laptop, whatever, but something like a phone will not be able to power this. So we're gonna use this brick here for the power. If you have a laptop or something like that, it probably will have enough power to power it, but let's just plug this in here. And it's as simple as just plugging it in. And we'll just plug this thing in here. And we should have a monitor, yeah. Dual monitor here, and as you can see there, dual monitor, and if I wanna play some content or something like that, it will just flip around. You can see here, if I just flip that around, the content's gonna play like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool that you can attach it to your phone, you can get some documents done, you can connect the keyboard to this, of course, or to your phone and get work done that way. So, so as you can see now, you don't have to use a Lenovo laptop, you can use any laptop with DisplayPort out over USB-C. Now we're gonna test this on an AMD laptop, because the worry is with some of the AMDs, are you gonna get display out? So there we go, we plugged in the AMD, of course. Now we're getting power to this, okay? So this is getting power. So I can put power in the other side and it can charge both. That's what the pass-through is for. This is an AMD laptop now. And what you can see here is Windows 11. Yes, this is Windows 11. But now we're duplicating this screen, but we also have touch interface for this because this is not a touch screen. Now we do have a touch screen. So that is awesome. The pen has two buttons on it. And as I said before, 4,096 pressure points. You do not actually get uh, paint in Windows 11. But anyway, you can um, like this. Now, if we have a look here, it's like they've thought of everything. Because, of course, if you want to write and you don't want that screen to go back, the best way to use the screen, if you just want to write on it, is do it like that. Just put it in this mode where it's firm, it's like an easel sort of mode, 
and then you're not going to get the screen going back and forth it's you know it's like they've thought of everything it's really good it's responsive i don't seem to be getting any missed touches and actually it works a lot better like this than the screen sort of going forward and back like this the pen works really well like when it's leaned up it's sort of yeah every now and then you can lose touch but this way is the best way to do it awesome and the display itself is actually a full HD display. It's IPS 16 by 9. It's got 10 point touch, 6 milliseconds response or 8 gray to gray. Talked about the ports. It is 700 grams, up to 65 watts power delivery, near enough 100% sRGB and 300 nits of brightness. And up here there's actually a really bright light. So it actually, you know, 300 nits, I think that's good for a portable monitor. And on the left hand side, I did say it has a button there. And as you can see, this gives you the on-screen display. Here you can control the brightness, contrast. You can turn on the blue light filter if you want. And the good thing is the touch actually works with that, the on-screen display I'm talking about. You can auto-rotate it or you can lock it in position. You do have advanced controls, which, you know, if you want different color spectrums, like if you want sRGB, you want blush, neutral, reddish, whatever. And then you have some language options and then you can turn that thing off. And there's also an extreme tab. And on the top here, you can overdrive the display. You can have it on normal or extreme. There's no point leaving it on extreme. You know, it's not really for gaming. You could game on it for sure but you know it's not made for gaming and yeah that's pretty much all the features there and it's easy to use it's touch and that's everything you want to get touch what you do is you just go into the menu this is android of course and you turn it to android touch okay. so what about the mac daddy here and the good news is the mac can actually use it you just plug it into the usb-c you know the output for display there and as you can see this works no problem so I do get a cursor with the Mac, maybe I can go in the settings or something, but um, yeah, it doesn't seem to work. The touch doesn't actually seem to work on the Mac, but you do have a dual display. So you can imagine connecting this to a MacBook Pro or anything like that. It's gonna be awesome for that sort of thing. And yeah, dual monitor on your Mac and it actually has a cursor support. So to wrap it up, this thing is a cool device. Yeah, there's a lot of portable monitors around, but not many with the functionality of this, being able to use a pen, touch support, USB power pass through, and most modern laptops just have this USB cable. You can use it for Android, Android Touch, I can use it on my Mac. You know, in terms of portable monitors, it doesn't really get much better than this when it comes to a functionality standpoint. And it's great for an office worker or someone wants a portable display, dual display, just getting things done. Two screens is always better than one, and it's great. It's getting powered, right? Just by one cable. You know, no plugging in power, no faffing about. And if you do need power, if you connect it to your phone or whatever, just use a brick. Just use this. Power. Woof. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.